Good day. Let's start our notes for the Three Sisters steam engine plan set. As you can see on the screen here, this is a three cylinder oscillating steam engine. Uh, this was a machining project I used to teach at the University of Idaho. Just pay attention to the location of these three parts. They're arrayed circularly. This one, if you were to think about an analog clock, this is the two o'clock position, this is the six o'clock position, and this is the 10 o'clock position, okay? And now some of the names of these parts will make a little bit more sense. Uh, be aware also, you are not going to be drawing these uh, lines. The hardware, however, is these compression unions, and we'll talk about that later. But this, the, the purpose of this is notes on the plan set, because there are issues with the plan set. There are issues with the project, as there are in every project. I make minor changes every semester with this, okay? And people get the notes every semester on what those changes are. I'm going to start by rotating this view. So on PDF, I'm going to go to view, rotate view, and I'm going to go counterclockwise. Here we go. Cylinder standard, two o'clock. Here's the two o'clock. The next one is the six. The next one is the 10. Almost every note that I'm going to give you goes across all three of these. We're going to start with the two. Very first thing not listed on here at all is the material. The material on this is aluminum and it is 6061 T6 aluminum. I would suggest that you just hit pause, open a Word document or a notepad or whatever it is that you're using to take notes. I would do digital notes on this and have them available because there's going to be a lot of changes for parts. 6061 T6 aluminum. Anytime you hear me say aluminum for the rest of the semester, I am referencing 6061 T6 aluminum. If that doesn't make any sense to you, that's okay. Just take the note. We'll be explaining it later. Okay. The next change or note is right here in this, this I'd call this the side view and this is the front and this is the back call this the side or the middle. This unmarked hole, that is a 5 16 18 threaded stopped hole. Again, 5 16 18 threaded stopped hole. If you don't understand what that means, that's okay. We'll be going over it when we go over hole wizard. These drill and tap for 1032 machine screw callouts here, that top and bottom that's representing these two holes in line on the center, those are through. The last note on this, are these two holes. One is a stopped hole, one is a through hole, and they are not 0 0.07 inches in diameter. They are number 50. Again, these two holes, number 50. People always ask me, well, what about this hole? This is the backside of this hole. It's just a view of the other face where it, if, if this is where the hole enters, this would be where the hole exits. All right, that is for the two o'clock, six o'clock, and 10 o'clock. The only thing to take note of the six o'clock position is that it is longer than the other two. But the only other change on this is that the shoulder depth is different. Here we have a shoulder depth of 360 thousandths. On the six o'clock we have a shoulder depth of 30 thousandths. The other changes that I noted in the two o'clock are identical in the six. The 10 o'clock, again, every change is identical to the two o'clock. This is the same, the material is the same, this is through the same, these are number 50, just the same. So that takes care of the notes on the two o'clock, the six o'clock, and the 10 o'clock. The cylinder itself, also aluminum. This hole right here that's 125 thousandths deep, that is not a 0.06 diameter, that is a number 50. This hole here, this through hole, this is not a 200 thousandths diameter through, it is a clearance hole for a 1032 machine screw. The flywheel, right now the only note that you need is that this is aluminum. The main bearing, again the only note that you need is that this is aluminum. There's four parts on this page which is completely goes against everything that I talk about in terms of drawings. This is completely wrong but it was to save paper. This main shaft is steel. Anytime I talk about steel and all I say is steel, I am referring to a low carbon steel. And in SolidWorks, that would either be a 1018 or a 1020. And I apologize, I can't remember which one is in the materials list. It's one or the other. I say 1018 and I'm pretty sure 1018 isn't on it and you'll have to choose 1020. They're both low carbon steels. The crank pin, also low carbon steel. The brass bushing is brass. The crank disc 
is aluminum. The crank disc also, the drawing is wrong and when I was in a face to face I used to give a little extra credit for people that could figure it out where it's wrong so I'm going to show you where it's wrong because we're not face to face. The person that drew this is a long story, was a high school student who was in the hospital and this was something that he was doing um, on AutoCAD on his dad's laptop while he was in the hospital. So um, he made this mistake and I didn't catch it and I've just been showing it as a really easy mistake to make. Um, I'm going to consider this to be the front view and this to be the left view. Let's look at the features here. Here's this hole. This is an eighth inch diameter through hole and here it is here with hidden lines showing the hole going all the way through. Here's this center hole of a quarter inch diameter going all the way through. These hidden lines right here representing that hole going all the way through horizontally. And we look at this hole that's supposed to be a drill and tap for a 540 half inch deep. This view shows the hole going in horizontally. This view shows the hole going in vertically. So which one's right? I don't really care to be completely honest with you. The part was built however with this thread in this orientation. So the left view should be changed to have the hidden lines going vertical not showing a hole going this way. And the crank disc, is, as I said, was also aluminum. The pistons, brass. Those are your notes for three sisters. The next video, we are going to focus on drawing these four parts. That'll be one complete lecture. And then I will have you draw things as assignments.